Chop my money. Chop my money. <laughs> Chop my money. <laughs> See, I don't look like how. Cuts. Hello, I am Rick Bates, and I am happy to introduce the knowledgeable, erudite, and wise Dr. Damages. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that our latest census put the population of rats in the city at 40 million. What? Yeah, 40 million. That means that for every one person in New York City, there are two or three more rats assigned to you. <laughs> and these rats, they are becoming very adventurous. Yeah. yeah. Here is what happens when one of the rats got into a New York City subway train. Watch. Chai, did you see grown men screaming like babies? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Meanwhile, in Birmingham, giant rats the size of cats are roaming the streets. Hey. Uh, 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 this man, this man. Eh? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? I said rats. Why did you put up our Shapton's picture? That's not Why? Nice. Ha. Anyway, now I regret I've become a vegetarian. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise. <laughs> oh. Talking about things changing. Mannequins are no longer dummies. Really? They are no longer dummies. Mm. Now, they look more athletic and very flexible. Yeah. Yes, some even have tattoos everywhere. Yeah. Seriously, they are no more dummies. <laughs> On the other hand, I've always known that I'm a dummy. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know how much of a complete dummy I have become. Mm. I used to think that fat people who suddenly became skinny were just trying to change from a cat to a rat. Hey how wrong I was. <laughs> it turns out that fat people who suddenly became skinny were trying to, to, to change from rat to cat. <laughs> who could have imagined that? Eh? New information published this week showed that our to-go reverend in New York City, Reverend Al Shapton, yeah. was a mob informant. What? Informant. Can you believe that? Hey. Now, for those of you who do not know Al, Reverend Al, mm -hmm. he is the first person you call after the New York City police whoop you are behind. Yeah. No, NYPD in no, no. Look at that, look at yo, that. Yo, yo. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So our Shapton was wearing a wire to spy on the mobs. No way. Of course, of course. When the news broke this week, Al denied it. Of course. Watch it. Rats are usually people that were with other rats. I was not and am not a rat because I wasn't with the rats. I'm a cat. <laughs> I chase rats. Yes, yes, he said it. Rats are usually people who are with other rats. I am a cat. I chase rats. <laughs> I mean, I mean, which rat has ever come out to say I'm a rat? <laughs> At least not this one. <laughs> National conference coming along. Uh, Is it going oh, well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday, there was a fight over food. Ooh. Food, yeah. <laughs> Some newspapers reported that a plate of food for the delegates cost 60,000 naira. What? 60,000 a plate. That story made Bola Jackinyemi, the guy that wears bow tie, <laughs> to go crazy. Hey. That's a lot of money. Look at him, the deputy chairman of the conference reacting. Watch. 60,000 absolutely. On true, please, gentlemen of the press, help us. Help us. It is four thousand and something per plate, and I wonder where in Abuja you are going to get lunch for four thousand and something naira. It's just impossible. Yeah, yeah, he said it. That is not true. Please help us, you media people. 
Yeah. But it wasn't the media that challenged Ajibola. It was another delegate who said that he has gone round Abuja and he's sure he can get good meal for the delegates at 2,000 Naira a plate. Wow. 2,000 Naira, yeah. Watch. There are private restaurants that can give us good food for 2,000 Naira. <laughs> I know, I know. Last week, our delegate for the week was the Lamida of Adamawa. Mm -hmm. This week, we had hoped to give that honor to someone else, but the Lamido knocked off all competitors. Yeah. <laughs> In his contribution to the never-ending debate about the president's speech, opening speech, the Lamido said this, watch. Ayo Adebanyo, who, even in his prime age of 86, is still ranting. Mr. Chairman, I have observed point of order. Why did you call point of order when you, when you were castigating me on Monday last week? Point of order. <laughs> I know. Chief Ayo Adebanjo, eh? even at the prime age of 86, is still ranting. That's right. That's right. Yes, yes. Um, by the way, would you, I, would you be ranting at the age of 86? <laughs> you, 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 or you Sahara people, you? <laughs> anyway, go ahead, Lamido, go ahead. States which don't, which don't have oil should allow states which have oil to take 100% oil revenue. Thank you. And states which don't have oil should take 100% land resource <laughs> he said it states which do not have oil should allow states which have oil to have 100 percent oil revenue mm -hmm. and, and states which do not have oil should take a hundred percent land resource now 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 that's very complex let me let me see does that mean that it's a radical idea does that mean that the land that aisha my aisha uh, dash me in Kano? We now revert to Kanu State. Yes. Is that is that what it means? Oh is that what it means? <laughs> anyway, the members were not all as angry as the Lamido. The members also had reasons to laugh too. Mm. They laughed when they were discussing corruption. <laughs> I know. Here is how one de delegate put it. Watch. They will be in jail. They will be in jail. Many of them are sitting here. They know that. Compared to what they have, the assets they declared. And the tax returns which they presented to the Federal Island Revenue, they will be in jail. A man who declared three trillion assets, what they do is to do what I call anticipated, anticipated declaration of assets. They will declare and they will not be stealing towards meeting the target. They will declare what they don't have. They will not commence the process of stealing towards meeting that target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many of these corrupt people will have been in jail. He said that some of them are sitting there with him. <laughs> come on, yeah, come on. Right. That cannot be true. Eh? That cannot be true. President Jonathan, what do you think? That is not correct. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not correct. <laughs> Another delegate insisted that they were all corrupt. Yep. Watch him. They were all corrupt. You said no. I don't want that. We show that. <laughs> <laughs> When they say that we are corrupt, you say point of order. What kind of point of order? <laughs> and then came the representative of the preeminent Islamic group in Nigeria. His speech made the delegates to stand up and clap, even when it was not allowed. Mm -hmm. Watch him. As Muslim delegates, we come in brotherhood as brothers, friends, to solve our common problems, not as adversaries. We come against exploitation of religion and religious sentiments. We come against stereotyping, stigmatizing, and dehumanizing of each other and of any group. We come against the use of religion as a political decoy and as a distraction for the critical things that bedevil our nation. I pray that at the end of this conference, we will all grow in our humanity, our respect for each other. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> I know, don't make me laugh. This jamboree, we make them better human beings. Mm. 
I don't think so. If you talk about making their bank accounts fatter or their stomach to be bigger, then you have a point. <laughs> now, where were you when you first heard that Nigeria has become the largest economy in Africa? You? Where were you? Oh, where? Home. My, oh, listen, my friend. Remember, remember that because your grandchildren will ask you this question. <laughs> yeah. Really? You must have heard that Nigeria just rebased its economy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and you may ask, why did it take Nigeria this long, 24 years, to do what they should have done every five years? Yeah. Well, well, uh, who else will know the answer but the Minister of Finance yeah. and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mrs. Oh, Ngozi yeah. Okonjiwala? Yeah, yeah, our own Ngo baby. Mm. So Ngo, Ngo, please tell us what, what took us that long. Why has it taken us so long to rebase our GDP? And why have we waited since 1990? Of course, there are many theories. <laughs> <laughs> she said, why has it taken us so long to reverse our GDP? Mm -hmm. eh? Why has it taken us since 1990 to do this? Mm -hmm. That's in God, my baby, in God, baby. Eh? Being a Nigerian and answering a question with questions. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Ngo Baby and the statistician general of Nigeria mm. spoke for hours. They were bringing out data and data everywhere. They mm. wanted everyone to walk home singing a new song that Nigeria is the largest economy in Africa of and the number 26 in the world. Yeah. You know, I waited patiently for the question and answer session. <laughs> I was glad when they finally got to that point. Watch. <laughs> time for questions and answers and I want to invite my colleague Mr. Paul Wapiku to handle this aspect. Yeah, he said it. Now it's time for questions and answers. Here is Paul. I'm like, Paul? Who is, who, who is Paul? Is Paul the statistician? I don't know. Anyway, I will take anyone. Go ahead, Paul. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, the feedback I have from our media friends is that uh, they, they need to go back to send their stories. What, what did he say? That the feedback he got from our media friends is that they need to go back and write their stories. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. He, he did not. No, no. You, you, you dumped all these statistics on, on them and only to tell us this, this BS that they need to send their stories. Paul. Paul. Wow. Paul. Paul. Watch him again. We're going to take about five questions, and if we're fast enough, we can take a couple of more, but our target is about five. So who is going to start? Any questions? Don't tell me the media have run out of questions. Did you see that smile? <laughs> Mis yeah, mischievous smile. <laughs> Any questions? Don't tell me that the media have run out of questions. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Mr. Paul, we are not fooled. All right. You are media friends. Yeah, I know, just friends. Mm -hmm. Have no questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. let, me, let me take a wild guess here. There are 1,001 questions vanished as soon as brown envelopes oh, entered no. and settled in their pockets. <laughs> And then a white dude from the Wall Street Journal raised his hand. <laughs> Immediately, Paul's smile disappeared. Obviously, that wasn't in the script. <laughs> Watch. Come forward, please. And then Even the white dude that came up to ask a question <laughs> was cut off. <laughs> Both his mic and the camera went off. Wow. I know, I know. Because of the complexities of the rebasing process, people miss the fact that apart from the economy, other things were rebased too in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. As a public service, here are the top 10 things that were rebased in Nigeria as a result. Mm. Number 10. The minimum wage has just gone up from 18,000 a month to 18,000 a month. 
Number nine, the number of children fathered by hip hop star Two Face Dibia has changed from 12 to two dozens. Yeah. <laughs> number eight, federal allocations to oil producing states have gone from 13% to the value of their properties in Abuja. <laughs> I know, this is in yeah, their Alamido. Number seven, the allowances of retired militants have gone from 45 billion a year to whatever amount they give to universities in Nigeria. <laughs> Number six, the figures of Boko Haram victims have changed from 10,000 deaths since Jonathan became president to 40,000 deaths. Uh, yeah, now that is what I call rebezing. Hey. Number five, <laughs> the 20 billion dollars missing at the NNPC has now become 10.5 billion after rebezing. Uh, yeah, they, they brought it down. Mm -hmm. Number four, after revising, Pius Anim's weight went from two third of Doi Nokube's weight, what? yeah, to three quarter of Alhaji Abubakar Alhaji's hey, weight. Whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, now, now, whatever happened to that man, Alhaji Abubakar Alhaji? Whatever happened to him? Anyway, number three, the seven days that Patience Jonathan spent as a dead woman before she resurrected has become twelve days. Hey. Yes, yes, that's uh, now. Jesus has a long way to go to catch up oh, with her. Hallelujah. A long way. Number two, <laughs> number two, number two, after rebasing, Kosi Ojako went from double D49 mm -hmm. to double D419. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. And the number one thing that changed after rebasing is that the number of cars Jonathan's daughter received at her wedding has changed from 80 to 140. Hey. Mm -hmm. no. That is 10 cars higher than the number of cars Benga Obasanjo got when Obasanjo was president during his wedding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you become a Nigerian. Now, here are some stories making headlines across Nigeria this week. Golf is a game of integrity, David Mark tells golfers. <laughs> you know David Mark, the president of the Nigerian Senate? Yeah. Now, this is the first time integrity and David Mark are used in the same sentence. The first time. <laughs> Crack in APC reports Sun newspaper. I know, in the first instance, eh, how did the standard organization of Nigeria allow such a product in the market in the first place? Mm, how? Don't they know that crack is whack? Right? Hey, <laughs> Tinubu's hold on Lagos will end in 2015, says PDP candidate for governor. Mm, mm. Go sit down, my friend. Go sit eh? down. Not when his umbilical cord is hooked to the state treasury. Ooh. How can you connect disconnect it? <laughs> <laughs> Military chiefs adding Boko Haram soldier alleges in a VOA interview. I guess I guess the military chiefs defected to where the motivation is high. You, wow. you, don't, you don't blame them. Yeah, yeah, you don't blame them. The story of my oil business says follow Runsho Alakija. <laughs> don't worry, madam. We already know. We already know the story. Eh? And IBB says leave your house alone and follow me, and I will make you a fisher of oil. <laughs> That's the story, nothing more. <laughs> Nonsense. INEC declares Elijah Ese Odu by election inconclusive. <laughs> I know. By my count, this is the third time that that Mr. Inconclusive has won an election. Yeah. The third time. <laughs> I'm no longer going to ignore the media battering my image, says Two Face Dibia. <laughs> what are you going to do, Two Face? What are you going to do? Chain the big, big, big P thing, chain it up. Ah, I'm only taking a break from acting for politics, says Ijabola Dabo. Yeah. <laughs> a break? <laughs> My friend, calm down. Politics is where ugly people go to act. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your... Yeah! All right. <laughs> 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 it's time for your email. Do we have emails today? Yes, doctor. You don't have to yell. Eh? Adiola fixed this for us. The audio problem is solved. But just in case it's not solved where you are, don't write us, right? Uh, I didn't keep know it she real. fixed it. Oh, though. she fixed it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, keeping it real. Yeah, keeping but it yeah, real. Write but her. If write it's her. not, if it's wrong, still write if her. You can't She's tell responsible us. It's now. All right, let's go. Okay, our first email is from Su Sulaiman. Yanusa, he oh, writes. That my friend, yeah. What Sulaiman, did he say? Like, mm -hmm. oh Sulaiman, yeah, your friend. We used to drink a good I'm bro. sure. Mm -hmm. What's what did he say? Dear doctor, 
Your show is wonderful. In Fatima, tomato just present made it more entertaining. Dear food doctor, I would like to make a suggestion, which is a salary increment to tomato just because she's always standing beside you like a police constable. Eh? Secondly, she also need an assistant. I have two candidates. One is Kosi, your best. Uh, Number two Kosi, is Lacey Kosi. Wild. Who is that? Me, yeah, I don't know. Ah. I thought you would know. All right, my friend. Tomato Joss is happy, a very happy employee. Eh? Her problem is not money. It is knowing what to do with money. Eh? So, so, <laughs> so you know, she was not born poor and she has never seen poverty. Look at her. <laughs> As for getting a help, we are looking into that. She needs someone to hold the email for her to read. Eh? Why not? Yeah. But um, in, in terms of getting Kosi or Jacko here, that would be riots. People will not know what they are doing anymore. Uh, about that, that was the other lady's name, Lacey Wild. I, I don't know who she is. Um, and, I, and I don't give a damn. Eh? Kosi is it. Uh, uh, hey, my man, can you show that, that lady again? Lacey, show her picture again. <laughs> Next. Anyway, our second email is from Karen Froland. She writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I'd like to write to you about something other than the sound problems. But as I see, this situation degrades your show, which is great except for the sound. Again this week, I cannot hear Tomato Joss or you very well during the viewer mail segment. And I have my volume all the way up. Please ask Adiola to help you with your many sound problems. I know sitting down here to watch your show, my ears will, will be assaulted with painfully loud noise and also strain trying to hear you and TJ off and on. Hope you can cure this. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Eh? We shoot these two shows in the same studio. Some mm -hmm. days, like today, on the same day, mm -hmm. we even have the same director. Why not? So... The only reason why this will be happening is that somebody cast a spell on me. Huh. Somebody must have cast a spell on me. Mm -hmm. And I know who that person is. Mm -hmm. It is no other person but Prophet TV Joshua. Hey! Yeah. It must be that that evil spirit that he kicked out of that woman, that he channeled the evil spirit to me. Eh? You know the one I'm talking about. Watch. Holy Ghost, fire! Every part of your body. Holy Ghost, for the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you doing this to me now? My company would fall. Every part of your body. Will you not leave me alone? I say, back to the sender. Back to the sender. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Our third email is from Ibrahim <laughs> Akim from Qatar. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I was so disturbed, even almost crying, when I saw you packing your loads. Please, I don't like that kind of joke. Your program is, um, is my appetizer. I really love it. My regards to that cute babe, Tomato Joss, for your information. I'm going to get her a visiting visa to Qatar soon, so you should inform your jealous and old wife to come and take over for her, for now. For the little time, I really love your show. God bless. Oh, thank you, my man. Thank you so much for the mail. Uh, you plan to get to me to just a visiting visa to, to, to where you are, eh? All right? Do that, please. Don't worry. Don't forget about, forget about, uh, you, you need to know that she doesn't fly commercial airlines. Oh, eh? gosh. And she, you have to get a private jet for her. Oh, As for no. Mamudoka, she's no longer jealous. I, I kept her busy. She's taking care of uh, something. Uh, she'll be busy for the next six months. No, no, no. Nine, is it nine, three months is gone. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> she'll be know. busy for the next six months. So don't worry about her. Next. Our fourth email is from Hamed in Dublin. He writes, Dr. Damages, you are too much. Sincerely speaking, I think if Sahara TV can be like CNN, ABC, and Sky TV channels, it will be a change for humanity. But don't worry. I and Prophet Fatai Balogun, TB Joshua, are praying for your channel. What? Everyone at your TV station will soon get deliverance. And by the way, are you still in Bugos from your patients? Or do you borrow the Bugos from the Nigerian Minister of Finance? I knew <laughs> hey, it. This man. You are playing with your life. Eh? How dare you call Prophet T.B. Joshua by his real name, Fatai Balogun? Eh? You know the fear. Eh? Oh, yeah? Go on. Go on. Tell us that, that he was born by a man and a woman. 
and not by the Holy <laughs> Spirit. Go on. Eh? Oh, God. If you go to sleep tonight and turn into a rat, you will claim that you don't know what happened to you. Eh? Continue to be foolish in your foolish ways. <laughs> um, I see that you like bra. Eh? <laughs> I see from your email I know. So send me your emailing address. I will forward you an unused one. The one I have was used by uh, Kosi when... Uh, well, anyway. Like. Next! <laughs> anyway, our fifth email is from Be Good in Lagos. Oh, my man. He mind. writes, Dear Doctor, congrats on your new office and to my dear Tomato Just on the new uniform I sent to her. So he sent this? Yeah, yeah, that's what he's claiming. I did it. I gave you money, you you got something free. Me, I'm just asking that's, you. That's, because that's how I get broke. I can see I can see if it's well. I know her size or oh, LOL. <laughs> please try, please try the try get the equipment that can change the corrupt blood of our Niger or guys at the top. Please, doctor, judge this case. My house was robbed January this year. We lost money and valuables. For some reason, we needed a police report. After going through the long process, the police told us to pay 10,000 Naira oh for the report. God. What do you think? He also said, please, oh, don't yab Adiola again. Oh. Otherwise, we'll use our karate on you. She's my best woman in the world. Ooh. Love you all. Where's Mama Udoka? <laughs> Be good. Sorry about your loss, eh? But um, th that's why I want people like you. Eh? Be good to me and be good to <laughs> Prophet TB Joshua so that your life will be long. Now, why do you need a police report? Eh? It, it, it's not like the insurance company will pay you for your losses. <laughs> why? Next time, let me give you an advice. Next time, give that money to police sergeant and you'll be surprised he will take you to the house where you get back your stolen items. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Um, about um, what, what did he say again about Adiola and, and mm. her, her character? That's nothing. That's crap. I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's her body double that does that. It's not her, really. <laughs> body double. Next. Okay. Our final email is from Sadiq Abdullahi. He writes, For anyone to say you look like Jonathan, that is not correct. But to matter just look like... And go, baby. Thank you, Sadiq. Thank you so, so much. Eh? You are the only person so. who can see well, well. We try to get to Metal Joss to like dress her. up like in God Baby. I don't look like her. <laughs> but she won't. So uh, the only option we have is to compare their dance dance moves. Uh -huh. That of uh, Tomato Joss and God Baby. So this is what we saw. Watch. all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now here is my concern for today. It's taken from page one, two, three of the book, God Does Not Play a Dice eh? by Albert Einstein. And it says, unthinking respect for authority is the greatest enemy of truth. <laughs> yes, 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 I know. I will see my doctors next week. So we are taking the week off. Until next, next week. I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to see my doctors next week. You know that thing that is happening. It's, it's still happening. Isn't it for your wife to know? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>